Hi, it's Alex Sergienko here, and today's topic will be parameterized tests in JUnit 5. Given the plethora of parameterized features in JUnit 5, we will concentrate on the most significant annotations. We will discuss CSV source, method source, CSV file source, and argument source in this video. So, without further ado, let's begin. I have created a new Maven project and added the following necessary dependencies. Bill of materials for JUnit 591, Maven Surefire plugin, Maven compiler plugin, and JUnit Jupyter itself. Let's create a new class named Application to collect our business logic under tests. We will start our journey from the CSV source annotation in parameterized test. Let's create a new method that will check if the given value is below the predefined threshold. I am introducing a new constant variable for the threshold value. Then I'm creating a method named isRange, which returns true if a given value is below the limit. Now let's create a test class and call it application test. I'm creating a new method and annotating it with both parameterized test and CSV source. The first annotation marks the test method to receive parameterized arguments. The second annotation shows that the arguments will be read from a CSV source. The test method receives an integer input value and an expected value of boolean. We will test the isRange method from the application class, so I am creating a new instance. Now I'm creating a new assertion based on method input values. It's time to set input pairs for the test. Pairs should be enclosed in quotes and each pair is separated with a comma. Let's run this test and look at results. We have the exact anticipated behavior. Now I will change one of the input pairs to the wrong result. You can see that now this part of test is failed. The next annotation to discover is method source. Let's create a new method in the application class. This time method will check whether the input integer number is even. Now I'm creating a new test method annotated with method source. The method will test the isEven method for correctness. Similarly to the previous test, I'm creating a new instance of the application class. The method source annotation requires to provide a static factory method that will act as an argument source for an annotated method. The method should return a stream of input values. 
In our case it will be a stream of vintages. Now I add the name of the factory method as an annotation parameter. Let's run the test and see the results. Oops, it seems that I forgot to apply a method in assertion. Let's fix it and run the test once again. As we expected, the test is passed. Now let's try to ruin the test by editing the factory method. Test fails with the edited odd number. Some test cases assume that you need to pass input parameters reading them from external source or file. Under the resources folder let's create a new CSV file named test.csv and fill it with some random input pairs. These pairs should cover our first method. Now let's copy and paste the CSV source method and edit it. I have removed the old annotation and replaced it with CSV file source. I've also set that resources parameter to the forward slash test.csv. Now let's run the test. As you see, it has passed flawlessly with input parameters taken from CSV. The last but not least annotation for today is argument source. Argument source can be used to specify a custom reusable arguments provider. Let's create a new class named person. It consists only of a single field name. I am generating a getter and setter along with a constructor for convenience. Now open the application class. I will create a new method that checks if a person has an unassigned name. Under the test package let's create a new class named person provider. The class implements the arguments provider interface. Let's implement the provide arguments method. The method returns a stream of persons. Now I'm creating a new test method and annotating it with the argument source. I use the person provider class as an annotation parameter. Let's run the test. Nice. Now I'm going to ruin the test by editing the person provider with a null name. And now the test is failed. Today we have observed the parameterized test annotation and its basic subtypes. Using them you can make your unit tests more accurate, brief, maintainable and easy to read. Do not hesitate to use it. It was me, Alex. Subscribe to my channel and good luck. Bye.